Good day, Grant Adlam reporting to you live from KZN Top Business and Business Sense. Today we're sitting with David White from DRG and we are going to be talking about governance. A hell of an important subject, David. Indeed. Thanks, Grant. David has, has written an incredible article that's going into the next edition of Business Sense. Governance, take it from there. No, thanks, Grant. You know, we've been um, banging the same drum for a long time now. And it's been about how do we help business leaders, entrepreneurs uh, to create better businesses? Uh, we have elders that have put a lot of thought and um, wisdom into creating models. And uh, I, I had the great fortune of uh, spending an hour, um, a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Professor Mervyn King. And I had the opportunity to say to Professor King, you over the time of your career have invested a huge amount of time into governance, into sustainability, into leadership, uh, into integrated reporting. Um, so why is it that we didn't, uh, or your group of people didn't focus on defining a framework for business leaders to follow? And uh, his answer was simple and um, he said the framework is uh, critically important. You know, we have to have a framework uh, that guides people towards uh, productivity, having the right controls in place, uh, creating engaged work environments. But uh, more than that, it's about the culture, uh, the thinking, the decision making. And um, a term was uh, conceptualized uh, responsible corporate citizens. And Professor King was saying, uh, governance is not really effective uh, as a tick box exercise. It has to become something that people feel emotionally. Uh, people want to be ethical. Uh, people see the value of being ethical. And uh, Professor King stated very clearly, um, the, we need to make sure that uh, people want to make the right decisions so that uh, we are protecting the environment um, for future generations. Uh, we're not taking more out of the environment than nature herself can't uh, replenish. Uh, we are considering social and society impact. And uh, of course, we are taking from the economy what we need and uh, we're also putting back a lot. So it's almost like, um, you know, the shift has been, you know, let's create a framework uh, that people can follow. Oh gosh, the framework uh, isn't effective unless uh, people and leaders and governing bodies um, can, can hold that space of uh, we have an environment, we, we have social issues, you know, we, we have uh, an economy. Um, we, we need to be able to think uh, holding all of those perspectives so that we can make the right decisions so that you know we as a country and a world um, can improve on our current state uh, but also uh, create uh, effective organizations that are sustainable and able to meet the needs and goals uh, of communities and society. So it, 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 his was a, a very much more a holistic approach uh, to governance. It's not just tick box, it is about the mental approach. You know, David, how do we get those together? How do we get business leaders to recognize uh, their role uh, in ensuring that uh, they're sharing the message with their teams that uh, we must make decisions uh, based on that, um, that uh, responsible effectiveness in moving forward? It sounds like an incredible meeting. But I'm gonna just draw that back to David Bin drumming, banging the drums. So bringing out of that, now bring back your philosophies of how your thinking is around this. Surely, surely you must, uh, some kind of conclusion must have come out of this meeting or change of thought on the way forward, because I'm, we're always keen. Where we are at the moment, so much is wrong with what we do. And there's so much that we can do. So, so what's David's advice? Uh, we need uh, business leaders and, and there are many like this already, but we need more business leaders to recognize that their contribution uh, is to society, it is to the environment, it is helping to fix some of the challenges 
uh, we have. There's a lot of common sense in it. And uh, as people are exposed to considerations uh, other organizations are, are having and how they are being perceived by communities as providing value, uh, the, the more we hope uh, people will move to, gosh, my success is based on our ethical approach. Uh, we're effective because we've considered the environment, we've considered how we can help communities. You know, those are the new successes of governing bodies, uh, of um, uh, uh, CEOs and organizations. You know, that is the outcome. And when we are perceived in that way by the communities, uh, we are creating sustainable businesses. Now, yourself and Cathy Lewis did a, a master class on good governance, which if anybody hasn't seen it, I'll put the, the link up on, on the screen now for you. But in there, Cathy made a hell of a statement in there. It was, and it sort of like landed deep in the back of my brain. I thought about it for a while. She said, her conspiracy theory is, is that we're in business to employ people and the money will follow. And that's exactly what you've just said. Fortunately, I've been able to spend a lot of time with Kati and I've learned a great deal from her, but she's, and, and she's absolutely right. Uh, in, and in particular in a South African context, but it's, it's a global issue. Mm. Uh, the responsibility of business leaders um, is to create opportunity, uh, training, development, um, um, employment um, in, in society. Uh, we, we have to create employment uh, as one of the initial focus uh, areas of uh, improving um, the well-being of our society. But this theme that you've been following through is, a, is an incredibly important subject. So I think it's something that we all need to take seriously. I just love the, the thought patterns that, that you're putting into people's minds, into my mind, because it is the only way we need to change the way we do things. Yeah, thanks uh, Grant. You know, I, I, I'm very optimistic about the future. And uh, I think, you know, we've had this incredible advancement in technology and um, it's a matter now of just taking what we have and learning how to use it uh, to best help uh, society and to ensure that we don't damage the environment any further. We, we, I personally believe we, we as, the, as the world are in a better place today than we have been in previous generations. But of course, um, you know, everything is vulnerable uh, if we don't uh, take action and move forward uh, in a way that does uh, start caring and um, you know, sharing what we have and looking for opportunities to encourage uh, people to move forward in their own lives. We need to uh, implement and we need to uh, encourage contribution. Um, and we need to um, rethink uh, the purpose of a business. And uh, yeah, just to reiterate, it's, you know, it's, it's not about just profit for me. It's um, success is, you know, our, our contribution and uh, our ability to enrich the lives of other people. I think, I think you summed it up so well. So I'm going to stop it right there on that positive note because, David, we need positive thinking. You know, currently where we are in our country and, and the rest of the world, we need good positive thinking and different thinking. So I'm encouraging people to follow you, get hold of your, your details are on the screen as we're talking now. But um, if people want to get hold of you, they may do so, David. Indeed, yeah. And 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 let's get a different approach to, to business and, and like-minded thinking with a different approach. Um, I just think that we're onto something good. Awesome, thank you, Grant. And David, thank you for joining us.